what is up guys uh, I know it's been a while maybe I think it's been two weeks and I have a good excuse for that uh, I was finish finishing up finals for school so that's all done and out of the way so I should be good now so today gonna be doing something a little different and be doing a little truck maintenance and it's not gonna be on my truck but it's actually gonna be on my dad's truck and it's a 2013 GM, uh, GMC Denali Duramat. So just going to put a fuel filter in that today because the old one is completely dirty and it's never been changed. But he only has 46,000 miles. As you can see right there. So 2013, so what is it, 2019. So six years old, so it's still not been broken in. So before we get into putting the new filter on, I guess I'll just show you guys uh, what the truck looks like. Give a little uh, walk around. There's nothing special about it, just it has some tires and rims. Everything else is completely stock, nothing fancy, but nonetheless, I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so here it is. Looking pretty nice. Actually, not really, because it hasn't been washed in a while. But yeah, that the Denali package. So got all that chrome. And here we have the tires and rims. We uh, 295 Toyo Open Country Mud Terrains, as you can see. And I'm probably gonna put these on my Cummins. Let me know what you guys think I should do, because I really like them. Like, they look pretty aggressive. So I'm gonna fit these on my uh, Cummins. Obviously not gonna get the same rims. I don't even know what these are, soda off-road. But honestly, I think they look pretty nice. Not the typical fuel and all that other crap. But nothing against fuel, but you just see everyone rocking fuel and all that stuff. Just a little different, but uh, definitely makes the truck pop out a little, little more than what the stock rims did. But the biggest thing I hate about the GMCs is that they're... Uh, fenders, wheel wells, whatever, aren't circular. They're pretty square. So it's really hard to fit a tire in there compared to like a Dodge or Ford. They're actually smart and make theirs rounded. So when you turn this thing, it rubs right down in there and in the back. So you're gonna have to put a lift on this truck that fits it. Don't understand, that was just a weird design, but like, why would you ever try to fit a circle into a square? But whatever. So, that'll be fixed in the future. Other than that, yeah, here she is. That's probably all I really show, because there's nothing else to really show. Oh, another thing we're probably gonna do is right in here we have a light bar that we're just gonna toss in there. 22 inch light bar fits in there perfectly. So, I'm gonna do that. Other than that, I don't really know what the plans are because this isn't my truck. But, kinda wish it was, but I like my Cummins better. I should make a video comparing the two. I might do that in the future. But yeah, not a bad looking truck, my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think below, if you like it or not. Um, or if you have any ideas of what he should do. Also, if you wanna see a pretty nice version of this truck, Go check out uh, JW Montoya down below. I watch him, subscribe to him, because he has a nice Duramax he just recently got. So go check that out if you want to see a modified Duramax. Otherwise, I'm about to hop right into it and watch my dad put the fuel filter on, because I'm not going to do it because it's not my truck, but uh, I'll watch him and help him. But uh, yeah, here we go.
so that was a quick, easy job, not too difficult. It's just in a uh, strange location that you have to, the easiest way would to uh, undo the end, uh, do, uh, the easiest way is to get from it from the side like we did. Um, getting it from the top would be pretty hard or impossible. But uh, yeah, next video we will be getting right back into it, upgrading and modifying the Cummins. Probably gonna hopefully put new uh, headlight um, lenses um, this weekend. So I'm uh, being on the lookout for that. Start changing the look of that and continue on from there. But yeah, I uh, appreciate all the people subscribing and leaving comments. Keep at it. And I'll try to bring better, more exciting videos. And catch you guys in the next one. I work hard.